Hi everybody, so I know it's been a while since I uploaded a video. My last video was the Nicholas Barclay video and um, this is just, I don't know, so I'm calling it coffee thoughts. I do have my drink here. Ow, it's hot. It's not necessarily coffee, it's a chai latte chocolate flavored. I actually prefer the um, cinnamon one, but it'll do. Okay. So I'm just going to do quick updates and I don't know. I also have a little, a little, a big bowl of fruit right here, which is going to be my dinner because we, I didn't have breakfast and we had lunch at a restaurant with my parents. I had lunch with my parents. So that's the last thing I'm going to eat. If you hear these uh, munching noises, that's my cat eating his dinner right now. Okay, so um, I have been absent because, I don't know, life. I am looking for a new job at the moment, which is kind of putting a lot of stress on me. And it's like I have a job, but I want a different one. So I'm kind of busy with that. And my health isn't at its best, honestly. I am not the healthiest right now. But that's beside the point. I'm also just lazy, honestly. So, no, that is a good thing, it's not, but it's true. I actually do have another case research, it's the German case, but <laughs> I don't know where I put my notes. I can't find them. I have them finished, but I can't find them. I have to really search for them because that would suck if I threw them away or lost them because there was days of research. That's not that great, but I hope I'll find them and then I'll take care of filming that video and getting it edited and uploaded. So this is basically just a little why I haven't done anything in a while. Um, what else is new? Yeah, so I'm going to vlog on Friday, like next Friday, I think, because I'm going to finally go see my hairdresser. I definitely need a haircut and we're going to do some color and I'm really excited. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but... I'm probably going to vlog it um yeah so what else did i want to talk about i have a few other video ideas if i can give my ass out to do them but first i will look for my research it's um regina neudorf i think that's her name You're right it's a german case and i just figured it would also be interesting to people who aren't necessarily from germany or can't understand german so i'm going to do it in english um yeah, since this is also supposed to be kind of educational. I don't have a script right now, you can clearly tell because I'm like, um, um, yeah, um, like, uh, <laughs> ridiculous. And what else did I have in, on my mind lately? <sighs> the Timothy Pitson situation. I kind of wanted to comment on that quickly. If you aren't aware or know anything about the Timothy Pitson case, I don't know where you've been because it's a very popular case for youtubers to do and documentaries about it um i think danielle helen did a video i think lord and arts like john did a video too if i'm not mistaken kylie elise even or something there's a lot of videos if you really want to look it up in more detail you can really do that but recently there has been news of uh, somebody claiming to be timothy pitson and i'm just going to quickly say that he's a boy that's vanished i don't know which year it was but he was i think six years old when he vanished it's been he would be a teenager now i think he would be like 14 years old or something along those lines um and he was picked up by his mother out of daycare i think earlier and she like took him to amusement parks they were seen on video footage there and then at some point she was seen checking into a hotel without him and she was found dead. She killed herself and she had left a note saying that Timothy was safe but they're never going to find him and they never did. Um, and like I said, recently there's been a person who claimed to be Timothy. He was um, found by the police and claimed to be Timothy Pitson. And uh, I, the moment I heard that I was like really shocked. And I didn't really know how to feel about that because 
the thing with the Timothy Pitson case is that I know there's basically two types of beliefs or theories and basic. I mean, they fatter out too, but there's one side that believes Timothy is still alive somewhere and the other side thinks Timothy is dead. It's a difficult topic, it really is, because I can clearly see why people might think he's alive from the note and it was said that his mother loved him very much and would never hurt him, but then again I can also see why people might think he's dead since he was, hasn't been found and he was old enough to know who he is and who his family is. Personally, I always believe that he's dead, sadly. I kind of don't believe he's alive. I wish he was, obviously, I really wish for the family that he is alive and that he can be found and uh, when I heard those news I was like, I really hope that it would be him. Like, I really thought it would be amazing if it is him, but I had doubt. Like I said, I personally think he's dead, probably. Um, and the mom just didn't want to admit to doing something like that, so she lied. I don't know. It turned out not to be him. And um, they did DNA testing and it turned out to be a 21-year-old or older, an adult ma male who was already convicted, like he's a criminal and... I feel terrible for the family because I really hoped it would be him, even though I don't necessarily believe it. I hoped it would be and I still hope that he can be found. I want him to prove me wrong, you know, <laughs> and I feel terrible that they had to go through this because I don't understand why somebody would lie about something like that. I mean, obviously they're going to do a DNA test and what did you think you would get away with that? That's ridiculous. And why would somebody do that to a grieving family? That's terrible. I kind of just wanted to state my opinion about that, I don't know, because I've seen a lot of YouTubers that are in the crime kind of genre do it, and I I just feel really bad for the family, I'm, for the father, and I'm really sorry that somebody would stink that low and do something so disgusting as to lie about something like that, even more so knowing that they can never get away with it, with it. it's ridiculous and it's disgusting and I'm so sorry, really. It's gross. I don't have any other words for that. It's terrible. <laughs> so, I think that's it for now. Um, I wish the best for Timothy's family and I hope that they can find him. I really do hope that. I want to be proven wrong. Maybe I'm just too pessimistic, I don't know. Um, anyway. Like I said, I have some research. I hope I can find it and get the video done soon because I think it's a very interesting case and probably something a lot of people from other countries haven't heard about yet since it's a German case and most of the videos are in German. So I hope you stick around and I hope to get a video out to you soon, whether it's the crime one or it's the vlog. So thank you for listening and um, I'll see you later. Bye.